Hi, I'm Devin Jones, and today we're going to be checking out the Cardboard Classic. Hey Devin, what's going on? Not much, just getting some interviews. Oh, cool. So this is my first time being here. Oh so, yeah. Well, yeah. welcome to it. I'm glad you could be a part of it. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this? Oh man, this is uh, this has got to be the this is the 13th year here. Uh, we got started uh, yeah way back when, and every year it's just been uh, getting cooler and cooler. So it's kind of magical how the snow just magically appeared overnight when we needed it the most. Yeah, actually it is, especially when you consider the previous years. This is um. So it was last year, we actually had 50 degree temperatures on uh, the day of the sled race. Yeah, that didn't get to do like anything then. Well. Yeah, no, it wasn't worth it. Uh, the year before, we didn't have enough snow. Uh, and that's why this year, we actually changed the date that we started. Um, so we moved it up a, a week. And uh, yeah, I, there's only one time of the year that I wish for snow, and it's this weekend. And my wish came yeah. true. I, now I wish it'll go away afterwards, probably. But. Yeah. <laughs> So, would you like to talk about the prizes that we you got here? Sure, yeah, you can take a look at the uh, table here. We've got all sorts of good stuff for uh, the kids. Um, everything from sleds to Old Town Commercial Association. They're kind enough to offer a prize pack every year. Uh, we got some LCC radio stuff, of course, uh, headphones, things like that. And then usually what we do is we give out prizes for best decorated, uh, most efficient design, uh, fastest sled, of course. Um, and this year we'll actually get to judge that since we actually have snow. It's like a little Christmas miracle after Christmas. Yeah, after yeah. Christmas miracle. Yeah. So one of the cool things about this whole event is that the sleds can only be made out of cardboard. Like. There's no wood, no glass, no metal, no nothing holding this together. It's just cardboard, and they're all really sturdy looking. As you can see, we got some really creative people in Lancer. So, the first sled that we got here, it's like a some Viking ship. Looks like it's from How to Train Your Dragon. That would explain the dragon. <laughs> so what was the name of your ship? The Hopeful Puffin. There you have it. So, this is dope. <laughs> it's, not, it's like a turntable, bro. This is really cool. Oh, worker, worker, worker. Is that real water? No. Oh, you could have fooled me. I, I would have thought it was. <laughs> That's a good joke. So what's the name of your sled? The monster. Why did you name it the monster? <clears throat> well, because it looks like a monster. What gave you the idea to come up with this sled? Um, do you know the monster jam truck called the zombie? That's where I got it from. I like these arms you have here. That's very cool looking. So how does this sled work? Like a pull-up sled. So you just hold on to these handles and just... Pull it up. Cool. So over here, we got a bug. It's pretty cool. It's educational, you know, and it looks awesome. Um, I'm a, a teacher and I got a, a cockroach once as kind of a fun thing for the kids to have. I thought that I would be grossed out by it, but um, I loved it so much that I ended up starting a colony. I had about 300 and frequently producing babies. You can control the breeding by the temperature and humidity of the cage. But I found that a lot of people were scared of cockroaches. And so I wanted to build this sled as an opportunity to get people talking about the benefits of them and how they actually help us. See Madagascar hissing cockroaches, they clean the forest floors of Madagascar, keep it nice and healthy, and we harvest a lot of our timber from Madagascar. So if it wasn't for them keeping the forest healthy, our entire world economy would suffer. We'd be paying more for housing, paper, everything. Wow. 
So they might be gross, but they help us. That's pretty cool. I did not know that. And once you get to know them, once you spend some time with them, you realize that they're actually very social creatures. Um, I have to have more than one at a time. If I just have one, they become kind of depressed and lethargic. But if you have a bunch of them together, they interact with each other, and they all have different personalities. So they're like little people. Exactly. You've got cool. ones who want to be held, ones who have favorite foods. I actually brought um, carrot and lettuce for them today, because the two of them that I brought, some of them like carrots, some of them like lettuce. That's cool. If you can hold one if you like. I would not mind doing that. All right. Now, they can't bite you. They can't hurt you at all, but you can hurt them, so be careful. This is so weird. Does it tickle? Should I like turn my hand a bit? That's cool though. I've never really been grossed out by cockroaches like other people. Yeah. Oh! oh. <laughs> Dang. Lose them. Now you notice normally if they're not used to being held, an incident like that would make them hiss. They hiss when they're upset about something. But mine don't tend to hiss very often because they're so used to us handling them. That's a cool little dude. Yeah. I call him Leif Erikson. <laughs> nice. So are these little guys what inspired you to make this? Yes, yes, yeah. so they are. I used him as a model. I had to keep pulling him out to see what color and where to put the spots. And Looks just like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite proud that I, I thought about putting the spikes on the legs. That's the yeah. one part that I'm like, I yeah. do. That's cool. All right. Thank oh, you. That was what was like a little tickly on me. Yeah, like that's what tickles. Yeah. That's also what helps them to hold on to things when they're climbing. Whose idea was it to come up with a poop sled? Uh, mine because I was inspired by the poop emoji. Poop. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> How long did it take you to make this? Like, I built it in one day, but um, it took two people work. We're doing a bird unit study. <laughs> this is our first year doing it, so we were just kind of started with something kind of small. And this is my first year being here. So oh, cool! Yeah, ours too. It's fun to come out here and see all this stuff. Yeah. Hopefully, it stays put down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> They got like a got themselves a tool to push it down. That's cool. I they thought about that. <laughs> that person just ate some snow though. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. Team effort. Here comes the unicorn.
Oh, snap! Dang, bro! Wipe out! <laughs> that went faster than I expected. Crap took a dump. Tree side looks like a bad side. did pretty good. Didn't know Wonder Woman drove a Lamborghini. Wonder Woman! Yo, that one went like 40 feet past the finish line. That's an aerodynamic ride right there. <laughs> Now it's a convertible. Oh. And they're still going. That was really cool. <laughs> nice job. Oh. Woo! So, <laughs> what inspired you to make this sludge? Uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> that went really fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Most impressed. laughs> yeah. Just kept on going. <laughs> yeah, you guys really did do a great job with this. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So whose idea was it to make this? Let's do it right here. <laughs> How long did it take for you guys to finish this? Eight hours. Ten hours. Eight or ten. Ten. Okay, you finish. How do you feel about how this car performed? Awesome. Were you guys scared going down that hill? No. Yeah. no. I mean, it looks fun. Are you going to do this again? Yes. Well, that was a lot of fun. Saw so a lot of really creative and educational slides here at the 13th Annual Cardboard Classic.